In today's video, we are taking a look at a popular and easy to do illusion and seeing just how far we can push it. Guys, a few years ago, Action Lab did an amazing video where he showed you how to draw on water. Now, that's a pretty cool experiment. Now, I have seen a lot of different YouTubers who have done this, but I've never seen anybody try and stack their art together to form sort of an illusion. I want to try that. I want to try different types of dry erase markers to see if they have any sort of difference and see if we can actually get a barrier to form with a pane of glass and just some hot glue sticks. Here's the basic idea. We have several different types of dry erase markers and several panes of glass. Now, we should be able to get our drawings to float on the surface of water. So by adding a waterproof barrier to our panes of glass, we should be able to stack them up and see if we can get an illusion to form. This should be pretty simple. We've got just a few panes of glass here and we're gonna try and form a waterproof barrier just using some hot glue sticks. It should be pretty simple. The reason I'm not using any sort of just pre-made dish like Pyrex is when you have a cooking Pyrex dish, if you've ever seen these other videos before, they tend to have a sort of a warped bottom. Now, my goal here is to try and get lots of overlaid pieces of art. The way to do that is to have a perfectly smooth surface. So, I'm gonna have to build these myself. This is not the most conventional method of uh, using hot glue sticks, but you guys have seen me do weirder stuff with them before, so why not? The reason these are gonna be so nice is they're kind of rubbery, so when we stack the panes of glass, they shouldn't slip. We'll see. Now the reason that using glass is so important when you're trying to draw on water is it's a non-porous surface and you need something that is very, very smooth. Anything that's textured means that the dry erase marker is going to sort of sink into it and it's not going to release as easy, even with the release agent that's in these markers. So I want this very, very smooth glass, but what that means is the hot glue is less likely to stick. Let's see if it's watertight. So far, so good. All right, so we've got our glass panes and they're more or less waterproof, so those are pretty much good to go. But before we start drawing on those, I wanna do a few tests. Now, Action Lab said that he had the best results with glass bowls or anything that has a, a very smooth, non-porous surface, but also with using hot water. So we're gonna try a few different types. I've got a few different types of markers. I've got Expo markers, which is what most everyone seems to use. But we've also got a few off-brand markers and I wanna see if there's a difference. We've also got three different temperatures of water. I've just got cold tap water, just sort of a lukewarm, and then one that we actually microwave to get really, really hot. So I wanna see what that's gonna do to it. First test, just our black Expo marker. We're gonna try it with cold water, lukewarm, and then hot. <laughs> Keep this very simple while we just do some tests. Pour some cold water in. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that did nothing. The ink is still very much adhered to the bottom of the glass. And it's not even wanting to pull up. All right, let's try the lukewarm water. All right, same thing. Not much happening there. I'll also be curious to see if the off-brand markers or if a different color works any better. Well, that was different. So with the hot water, immediately you're starting to see it crack. But again, not floating to the surface. All right, Action Lab used Blue Expo in his first video. He's done a few of these. There's one he actually does a magnetic animation with them, with a magnetic putty. We're not gonna be getting that crazy today, but he did manage to make a Blue Expo marker work best. Let's try it. And we were seeming to have the most success with the hottest water, so we'll go ahead and do that. But definitely uh, parts of it came to the surface. Well, it's definitely thinking about it. It's not keeping the shape we wanted. All right, so it'll float to the surface. 
not keeping its shape. Let's try that one one more time. Blue is definitely working better. All right, so this water might just be too hot, or I'm not pouring it gently enough because it's just falling to pieces, but it is floating to the surface. Let's go ahead and try one of our uh, off-brand, see if that works any better. I'd be shocked if it does, but gotta try. Hmm, it actually released much better. However, it did fall apart. Now, it's almost looking like this is dissolving in the really, really hot water, so I do think we need that mix between hot and lukewarm. So I'm gonna mix those, we're gonna try again. There's definitely a, a temperature factor here and that's pretty cool. So we've got off-brand, Expo, 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 off-brand, and then three of our tinier Expo markers. Just cooling down the hot water just a little. So it's warm to the touch, it's not gonna burn me. There we go. All right, let's see here. What's working best? Blue, green, so that's interesting. The orange pigment was surprising. I didn't think that would work. We've also got our red Expo marker floating to the surface. That's good to know. It is interesting to note though that the green and the blue are just sort of dissolving. I think orange is working better than the rest. Well, almost. All right, let's go ahead and try on one of our flat surfaces, see if we can get any better results. He's waving at us. And he broke. <laughs> well, almost. Purple is holding together a little bit better. It's also not wanting to rise to the surface. However, the blue, even though it is sort of dissolving as it goes, is forming some really fun patterns. So we might try that instead. Let's just try and see if we can get some fun patterns on the surface of the water. All right, so success rate is varying wildly depending on the marker that we're using, the heat of the water, and smaller drawings or drawings with more ink tend to be working a little bit better. So I'm gonna attempt that and then we're gonna attempt to stack this. All right, Let's see if this works, guys. Some of it is definitely lifting off better than others. <laughs> Well, that's interesting just because you can see that some of the colors lifted off and some did not. So you've got one mobile design here, which is at this point just a very large stringy mess. <laughs> That's cool. So you can layer and switch it up. Let's see if I can get these two back together. Ha ha ha. That's fun. You can kind of manipulate it to go back to where it's supposed to be. Wiggle the other one underneath it. You could do some fun optical illusions with this. Can you draw on water and can you layer it for optical illusions? Yeah, you can. Is it practical? Probably not, but it's a lot of fun. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Guys, some of our favorite projects are now available as a subscription. Click the link below to see if you can guess what the first one might be. 
Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you to our latest video, and that box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Hit this bomb in the middle to subscribe to the club so you never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.